everybody welcome back to another video i think this is gonna be one of my last few k eddie hauls i don't know if this is gonna be a collective haul because i have another batch coming or if it's just gonna be a standalone video it depends on how long it is but yeah i got an order of my k eddie uh, i have off work from today so i was able to unbox this early without anybody being home but basically today we have all the orders that i've been accumulating for probably months so we have i ordered all this exo exist merch like probably in like july august and then because they did a restock and then we have dio's album right here which he came out in september uh around the time of like chuseok and then we have the eighth birthday box which was recently and then we have 17th heaven uh kinos we have weaver's versions of txt we have these are the povs we have some bringing green beckon uh skincare and then we have all of the youtube pops for the weaver's version for 17th heaven and then a bunch of Exist and then Rise albums that I bought from Music Plant. So we also have some V albums. V albums literally came out in, also in September. So we have all those POBs to open. But uh, this is just my personal stuff that I'm going to be opening today. But for the KID, we bought other stuff like magazines and albums and stuff like that. So that's why I had to forward one box before the next box since uh, my KID is closing. But we also have some uh, K Twitter mail. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to get all this on my desk and then start with... Probably the older stuff, which is probably like um, BTS and then Dio. It's actually kind of funny that I have a lot of uh, SM groups in this box because usually I am very much only 17 uh, at the KID. So it's really funny that we have Dio, Rise, so they're like two different generations. And then we also have still my EXO stuff. Um, but we ordered both of these from Music Plant, so that's why I shipped them together. But uh, I think I'm ex I ordered them because of the POVs and the lucky draws. But we'll see who we get for Kyungsoo. We're gonna get Kyungsoo, but for Rise, I buy a Sunha now. And I, I think since the last video I uploaded of me saying I was gonna casually stand, I think I'm just gonna fully collect Sunha, not as fully as Minghao, but enough. So I think I want to do Dio because I'm most excited about his. Um, and so yeah, so the first thing we have is uh, his lucky draw. And they kind of packaged it in this interesting... Ah! Oh, we got the peace sign. I mean, I guess Dio always has a peace sign. So that's the lucky draw that I got today. Okay. And then for his album, I haven't, like, opened it yet. But uh, it feels... But his al I haven't opened it yet. But I definitely have listened to it uh, nonstop. I love, love his music always. Even from um, when he had uh, Empathy come out. So that's always a good solace for me i have never seen this version so i think this is the film version so it's a little bit thicker than the the note version i don't i don't usually collect exo solos unless it's my bias which is that can but i heard that channel is coming out one in december so i might might have to uh cave for him because he's my second bias but then comes to slowly become my third bias so we have this like film thing which is so cute he's literally outside from when he filmed his music video Okay, and then, okay, and then for the photo book, we're just going to briefly go through it since I don't have that much stuff today. <gasps> He's so good. We'll talk about the track list in a second, but I think uh, Somebody is such a really cute song that he came out with. A Lost is really good too. I think I always love it when he has his collabs with people. Okay, we're going to take out all the inclusions. I mean, we're going to get, we're going to get Dio anyways, but just want to take that out. I think he never misses, but I think SM definitely treats him uh, not the best because he did make his own company recently. I mean, releasing an album during a big national holiday, <laughs> kind of problematic because not that nobody's going to tune in, but it's like it's hard to do music shows and everything. Okay. The view was really good too, but yeah, Lost was one of my favorites and then Somebody, the title track. So that is Dio's album. I'm glad that SM is doing less of the big fold, the big posters, and they're doing more of the folded posters. So that's Dio here. We have a CD, okay, silhouette. We have this postcard for this version, the SM Town ad. Crazy that they still do it. And then we have the film thing that comes with it. I think four cuts and film has been really popular recently. And then we got his another peace sign. So like I said, I there's nothing surprising for Dio to have these types of. PCs, but he's always very cute regardless. 
Love this man. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. And then we're going to do Rise next. For Rise, we, uh, like I said, I buy Sung Han. But we should have two POBs here. I think the this is the music plant POB that everybody's like gagged about. Um, Wan Bin and the blanket. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to see who we get, okay? So I'm nervous. Like, I don't, like, need these POBs. But they're just, I definitely going to collect OT7 for their PCs. But for the first one we have, we have Sung Chan. Okay, he's been my he's been bias wrecking me recently. And we have Sohee, of course. Okay, so that's kind of funny because I buy Sung Han, but then I also these two are like the next in my bias line. So that's really funny that I all got their POBs. But now it's okay to find Sung Han because he's on the cheaper end of collecting. But we're gonna buy we're gonna open these now. I literally have my rise albums like right there. So <laughs> I bought them from Walmart, so that's the Walmart exclusive that I got. We'll open both. But I didn't buy this blue version, the realized version yet, because I didn't want excess albums, but I feel like that you're bound to have excess albums when you uh, collect the exclusives. But the Walmart cover is pretty cute. Okay. Okay, so I've already done... <gasps> we got Anton, okay. One less member that I don't have to collect. Oh, and then we have one bin here for the poster. I'm not going to do a thorough uh, book unboxing because I literally just posted. What is this? Oh, we got <laughs> we got Anton's set. Okay, okay. I'm not mad about it. Anton has really cute cards. That's why everybody's fighting for them on the internet. Okay. So I guess now I just have to collect the rest of them. Easy. Okay. Oh, we have my bias. So we have Sungan's poster. Okay, lit. Alrighty. It's kind of funny that they have the different covers of this version. I guess I didn't, yeah, of this version, but they don't have it for the other. Yeah, okay. Wow, we really got an Anton set. Okay, that's, okay, okay, music plant. All right, we're gonna move that to the side here. And then these two, we have Sunshine and Sohi. I guess I'll just, I'll take the albums out, but then I'll put the photo cards up there for everybody to see, since we do have a lot of photo cards on the way. Okay, so we're gonna open my KID mail right now. I just put all the PCs there first because we're gonna just display the PCs and then look at the albums on the side because there's no room on my desk. But these are like these lenticular things where they like match it up with current Woozy and then baby Woozy. So this is so cute. That's why I got this kind of obsessed with Woozy right now. He might be my third bias. Sorry, Vernon. And then we have Ming Hao where he has this like little thing and then <laughs> he's like on the bus basically. And then it, um, it pans to him when he has his little, um, what is it called? His little peace sign, boy, B-boy era days, okay? So we have that. We have some freebies here. We have a Wanu freebie, Wanu freebie, okay? And then a Face the Sun sticker. It's kind of funny that they gave me Wanu because don't even buy us Wanu. Uh, but my friends do. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Uh, okay, and then next, this is a pretty expensive card. Cannot believe I found it, but it's here. We have it here, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, it is Ming Hao's Ideal Cut Carrot Zone. I don't even have the follow carrot zone yet, which is the little kissy with the, uh, what is it called? The little kissy with the carrot bong, but then the version 3. But we have this Ideal Cut. He's He was damaged a little bit. That's why they priced him lower. But you can barely notice the damage on his nose because you're going to put them in sleeves anyways. But yeah, I'm going to put him back in the sleeve because... My prize possession. Okay. <laughs> and he completes my carrot zone page for now. I need the official follow carrot zone, but that's not a big deal. Um, okay. Next, we'll do... I guess we'll keep on with 17. We have the Kino here. I bought four. Uh, one for myself and then three for my friends. So I wanted the physical version. So there's this here, but I also joined group orders for Sorted. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I had to deliver a package that needed to be sent out so we have here the 17 kino so we have like the cover page we have um the kino here i'm trying to look at the photo card okay we have the kino here this kino i think this era is really cute i know everybody is always talking about the scary flower but i think their design concept here is really good i am really hoping for how and if not then i want june uh because i would collect his um kinos but um yeah Okay, so we have here the Kino photos. I haven't seen them yet, so. This is S Scoops. Oh my god, Jung On. I'm glad that the Kino, they did uh, Hal's blonde hair. 
because I was really not trying to join any fan signs or POBs for <laughs> this era just because I just need to prioritize other stuff in my life but um I say that as I almost collect everything but I my rule is that I can't join them initially but if I find them or if my friends find them for a cheaper price later on then I will join with them because then I don't need all these like extra PCs because the extra PC just leads me to collect more. But I think this era is okay to have extra PCs. Oh my god, Dino with blonde hair too is a slay. Everybody's been talking about that one Dino card with the chain. I think he also slayed in that too with his gray hair. Also, Dino just announced uh, his solo mixtape today. So that's exciting. Would I get that? It's TTT. I like low period regret not getting woodsies, but I have Vernon's. Um, but we'll see who we got. I literally, I was hoping for Ju, but I literally got Hao. Okay. Oh my god. I cannot believe I got Ming Hao. This is Ming Hao's um, Kino. He's so cute. Um, oh my god. I cannot believe I manifested Ming Hao. Oh shit. Okay. I only bought one. Think about, think about it. Okay. Wow. I am so ecstatic. Now we can move on. Uh, okay. Speaking of Ming Hao, we'll open his uh, birthday box next. Uh, actually, I'll open the smaller stuff first uh, before I open big stuff. Okay. So... <laughs> I'm still crazy. That's so crazy. I mean, how? Okay. I guess for the, my other girls that I joined, I can uh, sort for other members. Maybe, maybe Woodsy, maybe June. We'll see. Um, a lot of them are cute though. Okay. So we're going to open the Weverse version of TXT's album. I only get TXT. Oh, I try to only get TXT's Weverse album because I don't have any more room for them. Uh, I liked Temptation a lot. I think the, whatever the name chapter trilogy is, I'm going to get all those albums because I don't, I listen to the other music, but I don't listen as much as other people do. But yeah, I didn't realize that it was like an accordion style lyric book instead of like the little pictures that they did last era um, or the style packaging, like 17. But uh, this album's amazing. I asked Alyssa today what her songs, her favorite songs were. She listed like quite literally the opposite of what I like. And obviously like some people like slower songs, some people like a more upbeat. For me, I really love Happily Ever After. Dreamer's really good. Uh, Back for More has been playing a lot for me, the TXT version. And then I really do love the title track because that's like my style. It's kind of very like, um, what is it called? Like the weekend type of music. So we have that and then Do It Like That is good too with uh, the Jonas Brothers. Uh, so that is the first version. I don't know what version it is, but uh, we have that. Uh, I guess we can go through. We'll look at these PCs first and then we'll do the POBs. My bias is Bumgu, but I think nowadays I pull a lot of Terry. So uh <laughs> there's that i kind of just keep any member but i don't have i probably have i pulled the most subin so there's that oh my god that's like black flakes okay but if i pull subin you know i have a subin curse okay first pc we have yeonjun okay that is a good pc next we have subin see that's what i said we have uh subin here okay and then this is the qr code we have this group photo this is this is on the it reminds me of the rooftop that um, 17 did when Hao was in Ataka. So he was like on top of that. Okay, and then we have the sticker. Okay. Crazy. See, I literally never pull my own bias Bumgu, so we'll see. Like, I don't have a single PC of Bumgu, but everybody else is. So these are these L holders. <gasps> we got, see, we got Subin here for the Weaver's POB. It's like a little hollow. Cute. I'll move this to the side because we don't need to see that anymore. Oh, and then we got Yeonjun. See, this, I think... I think for all you people that are these uh, these these TXT members prices, you would want my luck. I always pull like leaders or stuff like that. So we have that Young June. Okay, is everything for yes, everything's in frame. Okay. Uh, next we have the other version. I did a Google last last comeback for these Weavers uh, albums, but I'm glad I didn't do it this time because these are huge. Like why is there this big band thing? Okay. This is the blue version of it. It's the same thing. I guess there's nothing really special about it. But I think Weverse versions are really affordable. That's why I get them. Uh, and I don't have room, so they're small. I get the Weverse versions for other high groups that I don't stand at aren't 17. Okay, so I had the QR code, but we'll do we'll do the group one first. Okay, we have this concept. I haven't watched the music video enough to know <laughs> um, what like scene it's from, but trust that i listen to tixi music a lot okay come on bumgu okay we got terry we love a good taehan photo card come on bumgu <gasps> yes bumgu okay finally we pulled all members i have kai uh from the name chapter oh my god he's already mistreating his the photo cards okay <laughs> put that right here 
Uh, that is TXT for you, everybody. Uh, and then now we'll do... Hmm. I guess I can do... I can do, like, the small stuff first. So I have here a EXO photo card merch set. I'm just going to show it briefly because this is what I bought. But I really loved Exist. I can't believe Exist era. They're still releasing merch. Like, they just announced it today. That they were having more merch. But I'm not going to buy it because I don't have any more money. This is Batkyun. This is Batkyun's uh, set um, of the postcards because that's my bias. But he looks... I got it mainly for this photo shoot when he was in Jeju Island. He looks so good. Uh, and yeah, i just obsessed with his all of his hair colors this era. So then with the blue and then of course with the little like skunky highlights. But yeah, that was Beckham's set. And then I also got like the 4x6. But I got this last time. I, I meant to grab B version, but then I guess they bought A version, which is fine. Not a big deal. But and now I just have two sets of these. But I love EXO, so they always have a place in my house. <laughs> Uh, and I guess we'll do, I guess we'll do all the small stuff first. So we'll have, we'll open the extra trading cards and then whatever else is in this mail. I bought, we bought some uh, more seven, oh, sorry, not 17. We bought some more Batyan uh, Telegi merch. And then this uh, artist, this seller gave us some Batyan sticker freebie. So I'll just show that briefly on camera. But they're so cute. I think these are from like all of his birthday events that happened this year or like in the past that uh, they have extras of but Beckham's always so cute especially see like that's it's literally Telegi with the ghost okay slay oh my god froggy Beckham, Kino City Lights and then I don't know what that album's from I oh it's from um CBX fake fan oh my god this is cute yeah his birthday's in May so this is probably like long overdue but okay we have that there uh, this is some Exist uh, merchandise PCs. So I think this one is the Ghost PC, yeah, from the merch that we bought that my friend ordered. Uh, and then this is all the uh, pop-up shop cards. So we'll see what we got. <laughs> we got all Beckyon, literally. I'm like, I'm Beckyon Magnet. Good thing there's my bias. But we have these cards down here. And hopefully in the trading cards, we can get them. These are our joiners' cards too, but we'll unseal them right now on camera to see what the variety is. Uh, and then we'll see what's up. But, yeah. We got Chen, we got Zhongdae. I'm sorry. Not Chen and Zhongdae are the same person. I'm sorry, I meant Shumin. <laughs> okay. That's the first pack here. For the C version. Sometimes for the packs, I don't get good backhand luck. But nobody really gets good backhand luck anyways. So that's good that we got two selfies instead of like concepts. Okay. Oh, we got back here. We got Kai. Okay. I bias all of them, so it doesn't really matter, but I prefer to collect back here. Since these trading cards are so freaking expensive for how many they give you. Kai. Kai Suho. Or Jumian, whatever. These are the government names. Okay. Oh, we got Suho and Chen. Okay, see, look, it's, it's nice that we got selfies, right? Because then uh, we don't have to fight for the concept cards. <laughs> Better than pulling the dog, though. Sorry. Sorry, moan wrong. Okay, we got another Shuman and then Suho. Okay, not bad. I claim, like, three of these, so then I get a good variety. It's not too bad because it's kind of, like, duped, but it's okay. Okay, now we're going to do the black cards. The black packs. I think these are the D version ones, yeah. They had, they had four different versions. I'm crazy. We got Shuman Dio. Okay. My people who join with me just order like one or two packs. So I'm not crazy. We got Sehuna. Oh, we literally got back. Okay. I'm keeping that. Thank you. Uh, we got the little pink. Uh, on the phone. Hopefully we get more. Come on, back on. We got more Shuman. I have good Shuman luck too. And then Chanyo. Chanyo solo. I hope he really comes out with something before... Uh, the new year because 2024 will be chaotic. <gasps> Kyungsu and Kyungsu. Dio. Okay. That's crazy that I pulled that. I really wanted that. So I pull I bought like three of those packs. So and somebody only bought like one. So okay. Slay. Okay. So that was all the EXO photo cards. EXO. Rise. TXT. And Minghao cards I have today. I'm going to clean up my desk and then. Oh. 
actually no we have one more where is it there is some oh right here, here sorry i was scared my room is kind of messy right now because of all the goes so we have i ordered beckyon's bringing green uh toner pad things the gel cream sorry the moisture gel cream i am a sucker for bringing green products because beckyon sponsors it but also because i needed more skincare products anyways and so I might as well afford it with that but we have this our uh, artemisia uh sera uh, cream oh it smells really good but yeah this is this is the gel cream i use right now i use i'm almost out with my innisfree innisfree is like a very basic korean skincare but i don't have really crazy skin so i like their light stuff better but they came with pcs i know you can buy pcs afterwards but i wanted the gel cream okay so it says trouble station clean village 506 is his birthday first class bring it green bg express yeah and so i guess the concept is like train express but they're so cute like he these are good quality too but like no way you could find these cards together for less than ten dollars but yeah we have this conductor hat one he's a little peace sign and then these it's like when he like dyed his hair again because he's not he's no longer with this color so good for him though booked and busy and right now he's a uh, with his like league of legends uh what is it called his like league of legends like band so he debuted again <laughs> essentially oh okay I guess I'll, I'll leave this out but yeah i'm excited to put that in my binder love love me some but i'm back on okay Okay, next part of this clip is probably going to be this D8 box. I'm not going to put this in a separate clip because I think it would be too short. And also, I talk a lot, so might as well look at this birthday box with me. Oh, my God. It literally, what? So weird. Okay. It has, like, the sticker on the back. Like, it's on the plastic. That is so annoying. Okay. All right, Pledis. Always disappointing us. <laughs> I don't I wouldn't keep it anyways, but I feel like it should have been on the box. Okay. That's fine. I can always rip the plastic and cut it accordingly. If I don't ruin this before I open it. Okay. Weird. That is so weird of them to do that. Okay. Okay, so this is the DA box. The DA is my bias. If you don't know already and you're watching, the DA is my bias. Okay. Okay. We have these little I'm okay. Here's my thing. I'm not complaining. It's just that I'm a person that likes the color green. Ming Hao also likes the color green. Or he likes like other colors too, but like his main color is green because of the, the, the frog. But why is it that he got orange and why did Woozy get green? Because then I love Woozy too, or Jihoon. But he got green and I'm not going to buy Jihoon's box because I don't need another birthday box, right? But anyways, minor detail, not a big deal. But for as a consumer, would love if... He had the color that he's always associated with. Anyways, <laughs> we have his birthday box here. Love of my life right here. Uh, this is his poster, his birthday poster. I just put up some posters in my room and of course Ming Hao's on there. So. so this is the first one. Him and his nails. I saw a tweet the other day that said like, if Ming Hao just talked to um, a person who was trans and he would maybe come out as non -binary. And I, I found that hella funny. Um, because <laughs> yes king okay um but yeah he has his nails here i'm okay by his nails but of course he's eating a burger with a fork slay all right i don't know what their concept was this era but i guess american was their concept i'm um, just kidding okay so we have the postcards here always a good time to celebrate the eight it's only november what 16 today so these are so cute these are like prints that i print but they're like given to us. Okay, they they've been listening to carrots. We just want small shape, no no more big stuff. So these are the photo. I'll do the photo cards back. There's the balloons here, and then in this box they did this year was the wax, the wax seals, uh, for like letters. Okay, so they have of course his like orange wax, and then the stamp. The stamp has his little character. It's so cute. His little eight. I don't know when I would ever use this, but I, I use more like ink stamps than wax seals, but cute concept regardless. I feel like it's better than the bubble mailing packaging that happened the first year. But like I said, if only they had their own creative freedom to make their own merch. Okay. And this is like their little card probably. 
I love the color orange too, don't get me wrong. I'm a SF Giants fan at heart, but it's not really associated with Ming Hao in my mind. Okay. We have more postcards. We have the, the, the birthday cake. He looks like he's photoshopped in so bad. <laughs> like right here. Okay, his hands. And then the postcard, V8. And then this is like the little greeting message. Happy birthday. Can't believe he's 26, my man. 26 feels young though when you're like international age. My friends just turned 26 too. But. Okay, we have, we have Ming Hao Chicken Wing. We have Ming Hao Chicken Wing. We have him like that. Okay, top bun. And then balloon, finger heart, touching of the scarf, peace sign, gang. Okay, they gave us more cards this year. They gave us seven. Actually, they gave us six last year. So maybe next year they'll give us eight. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Okay, love Ming Hao. As you know, if you watch, you watch my channel. He's never posted so much in his life before on Instagram. I feel like I survived the drought of Ming Hao post. The 8th birthday party. Oh, also I hosted a giveaway on my channel, but that's for a birthday bash. So that's just to get rid of some albums I have at home, but also uh, celebrate his birthday. I have more giveaways coming out. I always have stuff to give out. So we look good. The 8th. What is this in this burger? Is it it's a beef? Bacon? A bacon cheese tomato and thin dude it literally looks like there's two top buns but there's not okay anyways I'm not gonna waste time on that he I mean, looks good he tends to wear yellow a lot recently I think it, I, I don't wear yellow often because I have a Asian skin tone so it's very uh, contrast with my color hidden catch order here oh my god my family's restaurant okay okay <laughs> that was d8's birthday box we have all this stuff here uh from d8's birthday so that was that was very cute you know we always do it for the pcs I, I it's always fun to see what they do every year i think last year's box was one of the best though so okay we'll see you in a second okay i think this is one of the last few albums that i will open in this hairy collective hall i bought one set of weavers global items from what's it called i bought one set of v layover global weverse albums or whatever for the pob and then i also bought in the next candy batch there'll be more v albums i obviously bias not obviously but i bias yungi so but i also double bias v sometimes and v also made really good music but my best friend mainly i do this for my best friend but we bought these are all the pcs that come with weavers global and then i wanted my own copies so i might as well buy from weavers global and they also have lucky draws so then i have those on the way for my own set as well so we just have a bunch of v albums circulating between me and my friends but uh we also bought japan v albums which i directly sent those to her because i don't need to see those albums but yeah uh all these albums i can't they because he gives us every single pc set i might as well just keep all the albums instead of throwing them away because then you just get the same pc sets over so we're mainly buying it for the pobs but it is what it is and then i think next k eddie i'll K next k eddie hall i'll have golden which i bought uh jjk's um jungkook's reverse albums because i don't i'll buy the physical version at target for the target card but for now we'll do the layover pobs um we have all of these wait oh shit because these these are, I think this is, fuck. I think this is one of the, <laughs> I don't think I forwarded it yet then. Cause then this is, these are some, these are lucky draws. <laughs> okay, so these are the, the Tave lucky draws. I'll check which store it is. I don't remember which store it is, but these are lucky draws. So these aren't technically my albums. So I'm not gonna open this, but I'll check my candy for some week, which is crazy. Okay, awkward. <laughs> okay, so these are the VMTU lucky draws actually. And so I made a mistake and I forwarded these instead of my Weavers Global albums because that has like the Weavers versions too. So I was like looking forward to like unboxing that here, but it's fine because then it'll just be in the next video. But I'm not going to open the MTU albums because that's not mine to open. But today, I guess we will, um, I'll just, these are all the uh, Weavers version albums that I have here today. I have 10, I have actually have 50, but I'm only going to open, um, I'm only gonna open 
my three here uh, that I choose and then I will open the rest rest of them with the YouTube pop in I think a separate video because I feel like opening 50 albums in the, is like worth not a haul but a, a separate video so I'm gonna open these three for myself and then we'll look at the pops later okay we'll see actually we'll see if I combine the videos or not we'll see okay so I collect in this era I'm dedicating to, dedicating to t collect my top three I'm gonna collect how June, June How, and then I'm gonna do Woody. I think Vernon I'll buy as I go, and then uh, Jongan I collect sometimes. It doesn't matter. Who do I get? Okay, we got Dino here. Cute. I really like how hard the um, the PVC is now. I feel like it wasn't as evident before, but yeah, we have that. We have Dino here. Hopefully we didn't get batched and hopefully the YouTube pops have variety because my friend said that when they ordered YouTube, it was like kind of chaotic because it wasn't, they weren't getting variety. Oh my God. Okay, we got Woodsy. He's so cute. Okay, Jihoon, keeping that one. And then we'll see who I pull. If I get Howard or Jihoon, we'll see. But I can always sort because I have 50 in my closet right now. Okay, we have uh, Joshua. Okay, so this is the three that I'm gonna open here and then we'll see what I get. Um, if I film the video as well. But yeah, I think that's it for the collective haul right now. I have nothing else on my bed that I have to open. So thanks for watching this KID haul. It's probably pretty long, but if there is another clip, then we'll see you then. If not, bye. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another part of this, I guess, collective haul. I, the one before this is a KID, so I don't know when I'll upload this. But basically, these are three albums I got from Target. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted Golden because I like to collect their solo albums. So I have um, Golden by JK. And then I was obsessed with the Fact Check album. So I bought the Chandelier version. Um, the poster version is kind of redundant to me because it's literally a piece of paper. So that's why I got the bigger photo book version. And then we also have uh, Espa because I collect Espa. And I feel like... For Espa, their Target cards or their exclusive cards are really hard to find after the fact. So, and also like for, I collect Giselle. So even if she's a little bit easier to collect in a way, I feel like it doesn't hurt to have a Target exclusive since, since it's so accessible. So we're going to be opening all these albums today. I cannot, I also bought them because it was a two for one deal. So I got the free fact check album because I bought Golden and Espa, which is actually crazy to think that Espa's... They just be pricing albums at whatever cost. Because if you bought Espas in um, a K-pop store or like online, it wouldn't be that expensive. But because it's like marked up in America, that is why. But yeah, we're going to open these. I'm going to open um, Golden first because that's what I was most excited for. I think it's kind of... <sighs> the thing about me is I'm really lazy to go to the store to buy it and to pick it out myself, which I could have done because nobody really lives in my town and collects K-pop. Because uh, I wanted the green version because it just fits my, it's my favorite color and it fits the aesthetic better. But it's okay because they picked the blue one for me. I don't even know how this album looks like. And also, I also got the Target version because I wanted the Target exclusive card. Okay. Um, and if I bought it from Weverse, then I would have to ship it uh, from my K-Eddie, which I, <laughs> it, you know, it's heavy because they're albums, so... Might as well just not have to worry about the Weverse Global Gift. But I did order the Weverse. I like to order Weverse versions of BTS and any um, Hive group. But I, because, you know, you can only get that there. But um, I got Weverse version for Golden. So I guess that one is kind of green. So, or whatever color it is. But we have this Golden. Uh, we'll talk about the track list too. But I've been listening to this album a lot. Ooh. It's cool. I mean, blue, the navy blue is still very nice. <gasps> it's like ruined and I didn't even take it out. Okay, fine. Um, and so this is golden. It's like kind of reminds me of like a photo book. Or at least a photo book, but like horizontal ones. Ten it reminds me of like EXO's like uh, Vivace. Uh, for don't, uh, don't mess up my tempo because it's like long and open this way. But like something about the, the shape of this feels very school children book what is it children's book because it's like so flat okay slay they actually announced military um enlistment uh process 
for all four of them. The rest of them that had to go to the military. So they're in the process. And they'll go soon. They'll probably go next month. But kind of crazy that they're all of them are enlisting. Like JK is literally a 97 liner. And we have yet to see Sehun go. <laughs> okay, I love the bomber jacket. This is actually a sleigh concept. Okay, sleigh. What is he doing here? Okay, winners never quit. That's gonna be crazy though. Hey, okay, JK looks good. Okay, my favorite. Everybody loves Seven because that's one of their his first songs that came out. I really like um closer to you is a really good edm song to me three is okay because of jack harlow um i think yes or no has been really popular staying next to you is a very classic like uh early 2000 song and then i th i just really do like edm so that's why the dj snake song is okay too uh but i think if we're really simping out here hate you is like one of the best on the album um two sided dance is okay somebody but yeah jk has good songs i i think it's more of my style of listening like obviously my bias is yoongi but yoongi when i'm like feeling like, emotional too then i'll listen to um august d but i think for when it comes to like bops i don't really listen to jimin and then i i'm okay i used to be i used to listen to rm's music style but i think nowadays like i replace like other artists in terms of listening to that type of music over rm and then and then of course JK and V have really good music too. So okay, so we'll look at the this stuff first. Oh my God, it's a poster. Okay, all these people are doing small posters now. No more big posters. Okay, CD of course. Okay, it's the Blue Navy. The postcards. Okay, he's like feet. His boots are so chunky. Reminds me of Hoshi. And then we have this. JK did random stuff, but then V just gave everything. I haven't even done a V unboxing yet. Isn't that crazy? Like, I did a JK one before V, and I got MV, and these came out, like, <laughs> a long time ago. Okay, we have these two stickers. Cute. Oh, and then we have, okay, Lip Ring Gang, and the peace sign. Okay, okay JK. I think I guess this is the Target version. One of them is a Target. I'll confirm which one it is, but yeah, he looks good. I agree. So this is probably with the album, okay? And then one of these is the Target. This is how you know I don't really follow JK like that. I just, I buy it to support, but also because generally I do like, I buy albums if I like their music. And that's why I would move on to Espa and Fact Check. Okay. Do Espa next and then leave a uh, Fact Check for the end. Uh, but uh, Espa's album, I haven't listened to um, besides the Teletrack. I think, I think Espa's always made like very trendy music. And I think also they have their own style. Um, they definitely, for drama, they went back to, like, their Black Mamba. Oh my god, Espa did the stickers, like, on the fucking outside. Okay. Why would they do that? Because people want to keep that. Okay. <sighs> well, I'm not going to keep it, but I just... Maybe, you know? <laughs> okay. So my advice is Giselle. We love Gigi. Um, Eddie Chan. And... Uh, I don't care who I pull, but it'd be nice to pull my bias because nowadays trading is a mess. But yeah, drama is a really good song, and the whole overall stage. I've been watching all the stages, so um, drama. Okay, so drama is good. I really like Hot Air Balloon for some reason. It's a very um, all of their music is kind of like pop punk to me, and then Yolo is also really good. But yeah, we always have opinions on Espa for what they are. But they, look at this outfit. Like, literally, Ning Ning is slaying right now. Okay. So it comes with this, like, little, like, thin slip color cover. We have the little, uh, it's, like, embossed drama. But this reminds me of, like, a nice magazine cover. So we'll put that over there. I don't want to see my little card. Okay. And I don't know signatures either, so it doesn't matter. But, yeah, they really slayed this concept. Their outfits were crazy, though, because they had such a range of different... But I really like these teasers, so I'm glad that I got this version. I like never talk about Espa, but I like to collect them. They're just fun. Like sometimes it's just fun to collect cards and listen to music, but don't follow. Like I don't follow their content. I think for girl groups, I don't really follow content except for maybe Stacy. I have them on Weavers, but even then, like I kind of muted Stacy because they um comment a lot. I mean Hoshi comments a lot too, but I feel like the girls comment a little bit different. Okay, sweet. Ning Ning and 
Ming Ming and Winter have been really killing it. I mean, there's only four of them, but yeah, I love Karina too. Okay, this is kind of like, this is kind of what I wish Blackpink did with how you like that, but they went a different way. Because, you know, every group is different. Okay. Oh my god, we literally got Giselle. That's so crazy. Literally, I've been, all these albums, I've been manifesting my own biases. So then for my Rise albums, I pulled Sung On, which is, we won't talk about that right now, but, um... <laughs> We have that, and then I literally pulled Coon for fact check. So maybe I, for SM, I literally have SM luck. Okay, but the CD plate is Ning Ning. So damn, they really have CD different CD plates. That's kind of whack. SM really just tries to make so much money from us because they already have like SM minis and everything. Like, please, I remember the age of EXO though, where they did um, member digi packs, which they still do for some groups, but. Like they for, they they didn't they stopped doing that they started doing SM minis or sminis because I guess people were the jewel case were breaking and SM was losing money but I can't believe I got Giselle okay that's <laughs> I'm not reacting as strong because Loki I think I saw the G before I flipped it over so but I'm so ugh, I love like I said it's easier to collect after the fact so I'm the trade hey I missed you you're the main character we love you stay cute thank you always <sighs> love you G. <laughs> I didn't scream as loud as I did for when I pulled Ming Hao Kino or when I um, pulled Kuhn because I just think S SM just knows me. I mean, Ming Hao is in 17. I never pulled my own bias in 17, but uh, we have this. Okay, next. Fact check. Uh, fact check on first listen a no skip. Okay, no skip album. I think a lot of people have different opinions on this album, but I let me just say that I wasn't, I didn't. Be I became an in citizen basically when uh, Superhuman came out, so that was like back in 2020, right? 2020, 2019. Um, but I haven't listened to their album, like a full album of theirs, since Neo Zone because I just think Sticker was not the sound that I was expecting from a title track. I know that it's like very narrow, but like, uh, I didn't listen to the rest of the album. I guess Lemonade, but. I just didn't listen as fully as I did Fact Check. So Fact Check is the first album back and it's been like the fifth album. So we've got like Sticker there. We've got an AO. So I'm um, glad NCT 127 is back on my listening uh, charts. But Fact Check to me was one of the best title tracks I think they've ever done. I know it sounds like crazy, but um, to, to before we open it, I really like Fact Check. I really like uh, Angel Eyes as like a slower type of song. Yacht and Misty are really good too. I usually don't like slow songs, but Misty is really good. Um, Genesis Qua when they do all that, and then of course like Love Is Beauty, Miss Tail. But uh, yeah, I just think they have all good songs on this album. No skipper. So I've been like, like I said, if I'm back watching their content, that's how you know I'm back. So, but yeah, we have that here. Okay, um, I don't know where the inclusions are, but I guess I don't really have a one two seven bias either. Um, I would say. If I were to have an NDC bias, it'd probably be like, I don't know, dude. I feel like I always say Taeyong, but that's just because he's a leader. Uh, I don't say Mark because of Celeste, but I think it'd probably be a mix of like Tail and Jungwoo. Um, Doyoung, Heichan, there's all of them, right? So it's just, yeah, who knows? We'll see. And I'm okay with pulling whoever, but it'd be, it, I usually have Taeyong luck. So that's why I say Taeyong. Okay. I really don't want to see it. I'm closing my eyes right now. Uh, this is kind of dramatic okay it's kind of dramatic but we have to do what we gotta do okay but the chandelier version is a really nice photo book they've been doing all this the this type of cover recently for all their albums so good on them but also like makes shit heavier uh but yeah that's the fact check Sh chandelier wow it's like a manual holy crap look at this taeong yeah sometimes i think it'd be hitchin he's funny too Utah? Oh my god. Who knows? I never claimed a bias when I saw them live a long time ago, so. But fun fact, I actually was deciding between whether I wanted to stand NCT more or 17 more. And I think at the time, I was obsessed with NCT, but they, them coming to America, like, messed me up because I was like, damn, like, I can't get to know another group besides Got7. But, you know, after that, I became a multi. And that little tie chose 17, a 13 member group. I like Taeyong's pink hair though. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, it might be Jungwoo. I think it's always kind of been Jungwoo, but we'll see. 
Like I said, I don't collect them. I just like to buy. I like to support their albums because they have good music. Which is crazy that fact check made me come back to becoming a citizen. <laughs> but it's also funny because I do watch a lot of. I've watched all of NCT's vlogs. And I guess my main unit though is wavy. That's why it feels like NCT. I can't have a bias. But in Dream, I have a bias. My bias in Dream is Jimin. But yeah, Yacht, one of the best songs. Genesis Qua. Love the beauty. Misty, oh, Misty, of course. My girl. And this is the good photo. Oh my god. Okay, we have uh, the poster with the thanks to everybody's seen this album. I know, but I like to. I bought it for a good deal, so it's okay. We have we have Utah's the photo, and I don't know who this is. Oh my god. Okay, this is Jayon. Of course, I got Jayon. Okay, their their photo cards are kind of flimsy this time around. I know NCT cards; they're not usually that flimsy. I got I got Jeffrey. That's my friend's bias. Shout out to you, Gia. Oh, Gia's not watching, but. Okay, and then we got the stickers. Okay, cute. The poster version did have the nice, like, little, like, print suits, but I don't collect them like that. Of course, the one person I don't, um, I don't know much about Jan, so, <laughs> but good for him, good for him. But yeah, that's the end of this part. Okay, we have a short mail clip that I'm going to add at the end of this video because I feel like it deserves to be opened on camera, but basically, we have Casey's Bai package here for me. I just joined uh, for something she split set and then I have two other things that I traded for. But essentially this is all 17 things and it relates to basically what the whole haul was. Um, I just paid for a consolidation of my last K-Eddy package of the year and it they haven't dropped it off yet but it took a while, like it took a week to consolidate but that has like lucky draws so that will probably be in a few, like probably the no, in the future. A future haul, I feel like. I have so much mail on the way, but these uh, are exciting things that I have purchased for my friends, or my friends have given me. I don't know what Casey got me, but we'll open that last. Um, I have a feeling, but at the same time, I don't. But yeah, we have this uh, this DK here. This DK here. These cards are so... This is from Face the Sun, I think. I'm, I, I'm like fake. I don't know when this was taken. It looks like Face... Oh, no, not Face the Sun. FML. But I just don't remember what part of the book what part what what booklet it was from because i just have so many albums I never really looked through, looked through it okay this is from this is from kenya i think we traded uh some pobs so oh my god she really put that in there okay no, i'm sorry but kenya had to pack so many goes i feel so so relieved that she's <laughs> i'm not the one hosting goes okay Okay, oh, so we got Mingyu and we got Hao. So we got these two POBs here. These are from the YouTube Pop. I literally, if you saw my reverse unboxing, I literally pulled like a million of Wandu, Jungon, S scoops. So that is those two here. Okay. I have a Dino song stuck in my head. It's a really good song, by the way. You should listen to Wait by Dino. This is a cool sticker. It says passenger name and then i have it says passenger name 12 2015 5 5 and it says b8 that's cool that's like who you traded with i guess or who who's in the package this person i totally forgot that i sent out this trade <gasps> this is so cute oh my god oh my god okay so this person traded ming hao and i traded them a i think a wanyu or something or hoshi i don't remember this is so this packaging aesthetic but yeah they have this polaroid he's ugh, not my favorite furry photo but like um strawberry how and chocolate how this is so cute i'm this is my favorite how is from this is actually how i discovered a ming how on uh, knowing brothers i'm gonna keep that that's so cute i'm gonna put that in my polaroid section i used to be like a hater of polaroids but i'm okay about them now not a hater but like i don't necessarily like collect them like I, I don't prefer it but oh my god this packaging is so cute i'm like destroying it i just i do minimal packaging that's why i feel like this is so crazy to me okay but yeah we have these two ming house one's for me one for my one's for my friend uh yeah thank you for trading and then now the casey's package whatever this is sorry oh my god oh my god this is so cute okay first of all we'll do 
the trade. Oh my gosh, she really already ripped up her albums. Crazy. Yeah. Just came home. Oh my god, me how? Okay. This is from KC. Take good goo. And then this is the V8 that I joined for, I guess. Is it a side loader? Yeah, it's a side loader. This is the V8. Oh my god, she ripped up the V8 part. Cute. I feel like I told myself I wasn't going to collect everything V8 this time around, but here we are. But this is what she had to send me. This is so cute. Thank you, friend, if you're watching. I don't think she's watching, but. It's like this really cute, these, these bows. They're like hair clip bows, oh my god. I don't know where I'd wear this, but it's so cute. Happy Friendsgiving, oh my god. Thank you, Casey. I'll read that Not on the side, but she got these me these bow bows. <gasps> these white, these cream and white bows, cute. I think Maria got them too, I think I saw her story. <gasps> That's amazing, Casey, thank you, my friend. But yeah, that concludes this the video. I think I'm going to upload this like next week, which is going to be end of November. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the end of the year activities that Seventeen has to do. And um, good luck next year. I'll see you on tour. Bye.